President Trump expanded the FBI investigation into Brett Kavanaugh Monday, but he's keeping one condition. The probe must still be completed by Friday. The president authorized the FBI to look into allegations of sexual assault against his Supreme Court nominee last Friday, and the inquiry is well underway. Mark Judge, a high school friend of Kavanaugh's, spoke to the FBI Monday. According to his lawyer, Judge's interview has not been completed. He is accused of witnessing the alleged sexual assault of Christine Blasey Ford. CBS News Chief Congressional Correspondent Nancy Cordes has the latest. I think the FBI should do what they have to do to get to the answer. In a nod to political pressure, the White House authorized the FBI today to interview anyone it deems necessary. I want it to be comprehensive. I actually think it's a good thing for Judge Kavanaugh. I think it's actually a good thing, not a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. Now, with that being said, I'd like it to go quickly. And the reason I'd like it to go quickly, very simple. It's so simple because it's unfair to him at this point. Initially, the White House Counsel's Office had directed the FBI to interview just a few people. Mark Judge, a boy named PJ. The people Christine Blasey Ford said were at that gathering in 1982, who have all stated they don't recall it. It's not meant to be a fishing expedition. The but FBI blowback to the restrictions yeah. came quickly. Uh, we certainly want uh, the FBI to do a real investigation. Most notably from Arizona Republican Jeff Flake, a key swing vote. We will certainly in the next couple of days uh, be having dialogue with the White House Counsel's Office, making sure that it is up to standard. Today, Democrats sent the White House a list of 24 people they want interviewed, including Ford's polygraph examiner and Kavanaugh's friends from high school and college. I liked beer. I still like beer. But I did not drink beer to the point of blacking out. Several Yale alumni have described that as a blatant mischaracterization. Chad Ludington, now a North Carolina college professor, said Kavanaugh threw his beer in a man's face one night, starting a fight that ended with one of our mutual friends in jail. Now listen to this. Drank beer in high school and in college. The Senate's Republican leader accused or Democrats today of McCarthy-style character assassination. They just wanted to delay this matter past the election. The president suggested Democrats have secrets of their own. I happen to know some United States senators, one who is on the other side, who's pretty aggressive. I've seen that person in very bad situations, okay? CBS News has confirmed the FBI did interview Deborah Ramirez this weekend. She says Kavanaugh exposed himself to her at a Yale party. Do you support that uh, investigation? Meanwhile, sexual assault survivors continued to pressure Republican senators wherever they could find them. And if, and if this is enjoyable, y'all. It's not enjoyable. It is not fun for us to tell our stories. Nancy Cordes joins me now from Capitol Hill. Nancy, are Democrats happy with this outcome, and does this development embolden them to continue pushing back? Democrats are uh, very pleased with this step. They were, uh, from the minute that the White House uh, ordered the FBI to conduct this very limited investigation at the end of last week and over the weekend, Democrats immediately started sort of uh, rattling the cages and saying that this is unacceptable, that there's no way to, to really um, gain any credible new information about this incident unless you talk to everyone, not just the people who were in the room or in the house that <laughs> night, but people who Ford may have spoken to afterwards, people who Kavanaugh may have spoken to, uh, perhaps the therapist who uh, Ford spoke to back in 2012. So they were very concerned that this investigation was basically being limited to people who were already on record saying they didn't recall anything happening. What about Republicans, Nancy? How are Republicans responding to the expansion of the probe? Well, uh, there, there's a mix. You have folks like Jeff Flake, I'd say he's in the minority, uh, who was pushing for the expansion of this FBI investigation. He said, basically, uh, we shouldn't have um, a sham investigation that just makes it, gives us some political cover to vote for Brett Kavanaugh. We should have a real investigation. And recall, he's the one who, who used his political clout as a swing vote to force this one-week investigation in the first place. And see, he said he had been on the phone with 
with the White House Counsel's Office all weekend uh, trying to, to go over what would and wouldn't be allowed during this one-week investigation. But there are a lot of other Republicans, most, I would say, who are very troubled by the expansion of this investigation because um, you never know when the FBI has free reign to talk to whoever it wants, mm -hmm. who the FBI will talk to, how many classmates, for instance, they'll speak to who will say, yes, uh, Brett Kavanaugh did um, drink a lot when he was in high school and college. I saw him black out. I saw him do this. I saw him do that. Um, all those kinds of things uh, are viewed by Republicans as, uh, A, problematic, and B, uh, potentially creating a narrative that they think is perhaps unfair, and they think that the FBI should talk to people who, uh, who didn't see that kind of behavior from Be Brett Kavanaugh. Um, beyond that, there's this sen sense among Republicans that Democrats are constantly moving the goalposts, that um, no matter what uh, they and the White House do to placate Democrats, that there is always going to be another step that Democrats are going to demand they take, which Republicans say is very frustrating because they know that at the end of the day, most, if not all, Democrats are going to vote against Kavanaugh anyway. Well, CBS News released a new poll Monday. It says 35 percent of Americans believe Kavanaugh should be confirmed, while 37 percent believe he should not. Now, both of those numbers are up from last week. So did the mm -hmm. testimony really make a difference among Americans? I think what we saw in that poll that was so interesting, Elaine, was that uh, basically people became more entrenched based on their uh, previously held political beliefs after watching that testimony. So people who were Democrats watched the testimony and said he should definitely not be uh, confirmed in larger numbers. People who were Republicans watched that same testimony and said uh, in larger numbers that he should be confirmed. So you have a situation uh, nationwide that kind of mirrors what we're seeing here here on Capitol Hill, which is that people take in the facts that they want to take in, people take in the emotion that they want to take in to reach a conclusion that fits with a previously held worldview. And that's part of the reason why um, you, you sort of have sometimes had um, Republicans and Democrats almost seeming to speak in a different language to one another up here because they feel so strongly um, about this situation, but they are both working off of completely different sets of facts. Well, Nancy, what is the soonest that we can expect a full Senate vote? Well, the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell uh, said in no uncertain terms on Monday that the Senate is going to vote uh, at the end of the week. Remember, this is a one-week FBI investigation. It was launched on Friday, so theoretically it will have to wrap up by this Friday. So McConnell could call his first procedural vote just to move on to the, the formal debate over Kavanaugh's nomination on the Senate floor on Friday, and then you'd have a series of, of votes over over the weekend before a final vote on the nomination would come on Monday. But that is McConnell saying uh, he is not going to wait very long at all in order to just keep this process moving, which sort of raises the question of if the FBI completes its investigation on Friday, first of all, uh, how is that information going to be then shared with the White House? Mm -hmm. How will the White House decide what information to share with senators to enable them to make up their minds about what they think of uh, Judge Kavanaugh and these potential incidents in his past um, if they don't have all the information that the FBI is giving the White House. Right. Really significant questions. All right. Nancy Cortez. Nancy, thanks very much. You're welcome.